Hello everyone, my name's Andy and I'm a driver here on the Kentony Sussex Railway. Behind me, we have one of our steam engines, Noel. Noel is a member of a class of engines that are nicknamed Terriers. This year, the Terriers are starting to celebrate their 150th birthday. Today, we're going to go out on the railway and we're going to explain to you a little bit of what makes Noel go and what makes Noel stop. But before then, we need to go and make some tea. Noel uses steam to make it move. Now to make steam, we need a heat source and water, much like in your kettle at home. Now the kettle uses an electrical element to heat up the water. As that water gets hot, it boils and starts to make steam. The steam rises up into the top of the kettle and eventually escapes out the top. Noel is slightly different. We use a large fire fueled by coal to heat our water. But what is coal? Coal is a fossil fuel. Millions of years ago, it started life as a plant. Over time, these plants died, and they eventually ended up buried underground and were crushed together with lots and lots of heat. Millions of years later, it forms this little black rock that we can burn inside our steam engines. The fire in Noel's firebox heats up the water in the boiler. The fireman is responsible for keeping the fire burning and keeping the water in the boiler. The fireman can check the level of the water using the gauge glass. As the water heats up, it eventually boils and turns to steam. This steam rises inside of the boiler up to the top. As more and more steam is made, it becomes pressurised. This pressure can be used to make the engine move. But what happens, do you think, if we get too much pressure? Here we have a balloon and a pump. The pump squeezes air into the balloon and creates pressure. Now if we keep pushing more and more air into this pump, eventually the pressure inside the balloon will get larger and larger until eventually it pops. And that wouldn't be a good idea on an engine. Noel's boiler is fitted with a set of safety valves. If the pressure gets too high in the boiler, it releases the excess steam and keeps the crew and the engine safe. But that's not the only danger. The temperature of the firebox can get so hot it's actually possible for the fire to melt the metal around it. However, that's very, very unlikely to happen. Let's find out why. So, here we have a little flame that represents our fire. And the balloon is our boiler. Now, if we hold the balloon over the flame, the balloon will melt and the steam escape from the boiler. Not good news. This balloon, however, is now filled with a little bit of water, just like the boiler and all. This water will actually take the heat away from the rubber balloon, meaning it won't melt. Let's find out and see if I get one. Look at that! The same idea applies to Noel. The water in the boiler actually helps, although it's very hot, to keep the boiler cool enough to stop the metal melting. This is another reason why the fireman and the driver keep their eye on the water. Now, we've found out how to make steam, let's find out how to make Noel move. Now we have steam, we want to use it to make Noel move. The steam pressure inside Noel's boiler can be used to provide the force. Simply, it's a bit like this balloon. The air pressure inside is waiting to be released, and as soon as I let go, the balloon will fly away. So we have a number of controls in Noel's cab. We have the reverser, which decides if the engine is going to go forwards or backwards. We have the train brake that we can use to make sure we stop safely. We have the whistle to draw attention to ourselves. And we have the regulator. The regulator lets the steam out of the boiler. But where does it go? Here we are underneath Noel. Now behind me, there are two cylinders, and inside these cylinders are two pistons. The steam is let down into the cylinders and they push the pistons backwards and forwards. 
these pistons are connected to rods, which you can see here, which in turn are connected to the wheels, allowing the wheels to turn and the engine to move forwards or backwards. So now we know what makes Noel go. Shall we see it all in action? and has to make sure we have enough pressure to keep moving. It can sometimes take a lot of shoveling to keep the fire hot enough to heat up all the water to replace the steam the driver is using. Can you see how hot that fire looks? It's now white hot. Now we have learned how to make Noel move, think we should learn how to make it stop. Just like on a car, Noel is equipped with brakes on each wheel. The brake blocks act on the wheel. These brake blocks are made of metal. When the driver wants to stop, he uses the brake lever in the cab. This makes the brake block rub against the wheel. This uses a force called friction. This forces the wheel to slow down, but it also creates heat. If you take your hands and push them together hard and rub them together, you'll feel this in action. Now this isn't a problem for Noel's metal brake blocks, but when the Terriers were originally built, they had wooden brake blocks, and occasionally this would cause a bit of a problem. Now the problem with wooden brake blocks is if they rub really, really hard together, occasionally they'll catch fire. And sometimes that meant the things that Noel was pulling would also catch fire. So, we've learned how to make pressure, and we've learned how to make null start and stop. I think it's time we take a little trip along the railway and see it all in action. We made it. We love working on steam engines, even if it is a little grubby. I hope you've enjoyed learning about our Terrier Null, and I do hope you come and see us here on the Kentney Sussex in the future. Bye bye!